senator representing Kaduna Central, Senator She Usani, has said that the federal government is more interested in arresting secessionists instead of putting all the energy it has in going after bandits and kidnappers terrorizing Nigeria. In an interview with Arise TV this morning, Sani said if the way they are going after Namdekano and Sunday Igbo is applied to bandits, things would have been better for residents of Kaduna in the north. I can say in comparative terms that there is more interest for the government in going after secessionists than going after bandits. I'm not a supporter of secessionists and I believe that secession agitation are virtually wrong and we should work towards a united Nigeria. But I believe that if the same effort, the way they are going after Namde Kano and Sunday Bo is applied to these bandit things, things would have been better for us in Kaduna and the north uh, western part of the country. Arresting bandit is bandits is more important to us than the issues of Igbo and Kano as far as I'm concerned. On the state of security in Kaduna State, the former senator said only two out of the 23 local governments in the state are safe. Only two. Only two. And the northerners are all over the place shouting Igbo, shouting uh, Namdi Kano. Abduction has become a daily tragedy in Kaduna State. Many evils go unreported. Those that are reported are either mass abduction or the abduction of prominent people. We have reached a point today in this state where the only local governments that are safe are two, Kaduna North and Kaduna South, he said. All the other local governments in the state are under siege of bandits. We have never seen this kind of trouble and it appears that the abductions are even increasing by the day. All the four entrances to Kaduna State are all under bandit attack. Any time after 7 p.m., people in the outskirts virtually move to the center of the city to go back in the morning, he said. Can you imagine? One thing is that uh, the northerners are smiling and suffering. It's just a few of them that will come out and say what this man is talking about. If he talks about it, uh, he does not uh, encourage secession. <laughs> what is bad in that? If what is the same thing that is causing the insecurity that is the cause of all these all the people who are calling for secession and they are not ready to tackle the problem. So there's nothing wrong in secession. If you don't do the right thing and that is the kind of result you get when people begin to call for breakup, everybody is just tired. Even Buari is not even bothered. He's not even bothered whether you people are thinking in one direction or not. He wants to do the agenda that he has in mind. That is it. He wants to go about it. And Erufai and his and his children, especially those sons that will be talking anyhow, that they love the way Namde Kano was captured. Who is not, who is suffering? Even before Namde Kano was arrested, at the end of the day, who are the people suffering? When you look at the masses in the north and look look at the masses in the south, who southeast, who are the people who are better off? With Buhari dead, their life is not even better off. Well, you are the lonely voice in the wilderness, and the people are really proud of having you as a voice of the voiceless. Keep it up and stay safe. And God will magnify that voice to become a trouble wind for any stubborn eyes to so they could hear and do the right thing. You are a double-faced fellow. You can't even hide your secret bias at pretender. Please, how is he a pretender? Or by telling the truth that... That is the problem with an average Nigeria, especially for from the north. You guys hated hearing reality. Please, you need to do the right thing. You need to do the right thing. Well, God bless and keep you, Senator Shewusani. I said that this country is built on lies and deceit. You imagine this Buhari thought we are fools. Even the Chief Justice of the Federation is Fulani. Why are we going? And why are we not going to be biased? Buari knows what he's doing. Exactly, he does know what he's doing. But if not care, if if not, if not careful, hmm, if not careful, devil use him tear this country into pieces. The security personnel were not trained to eliminate bandits and kidnappers, but they were trained to capture freedom fighters. Bandits and kidnappers are business men. Whoever supports evil must see evil. That is why all these 
evil are happening in the north. They support evil, they love it. They were they are dying, dying in silence. The question is to, to ask is who are the bandits? What is the difference between the bandits and uh, the bandits in the north and the S men? And who are their equivalents in the south? They will not go after bandits, kidnappers, Boko Haram terrorists because they are partners in crime. The federal government is the bandits, kidnappers, Boko Haram terrorists. Oga, bandits are, are repented criminals. <laughs> are they not repented criminals? Let them continue to deceive themselves. Let them be deceiving themselves. Everyone is just tired. Hmm. Yes, that shows that uh, the government knows about bandits and the government is biased. <laughs> well, if, if the president could tell us that uh, those who are killing people in the southwest, they are foreigners and it does not bother him to go after them. You are talking about secession. Secession is not a crime. Calling for a breakup of Nigeria is not a crime. Okay, if you if they are saying secession or a breakup of this country as a sin, then what about a uh, people who are protesting? To protest now is now an abomination. It's a taboo. As we speak, as it stands now, it's a taboo. As far as Nigeria is concerned, protest is a taboo. According to this government, Nigeria is yet to be consumed. Now you are talking, Shea Usani, but remember, truth is bitter. Do you mean all the bombardments in the forest is fireworks? The killing of soldiers are all child's play. Sometimes respected people vomit nonsense from their smelly mouth. Well, bandits, terrorists, and kidnappers are free to operate, but secessionists are not free to speak or move around in their own country. What a shame. The political Islamic bloc supporting and backing this hired organized jihadist terrorists will soon be broken and Nigeria will be free once again. Amen. Amen. If you are not feeling it, that means there's something wrong with you. Something is wrong somewhere. Let them continue. The determination to break out of Nigeria is beyond that sentiment. I really, I rarely see Fulani talking to She Usani, a Fulani man. Uh -huh, I don't know. You are the only reasonable man in the north whose conscience is still active and alive. God bless you. The rest ones, they will tell you that uh, nothing they happen. Ah, to fear kwa. I like the sunny, long live and a happy life. May God bless you and all your household. Born and raised in Nigeria is a sin. That's what almost is saying here. Let's get let's hear your opinion, guys. I know your thoughts in the comment section.